A privately funded project, Textron Airland created the Scorpion Ground Assault Aircraft. Textron and Airland Enterprises have a joint venture in place. In 2012, construction started. The Textron subsidiary Cessna built a prototype for it. 2013 saw the Scorpion's inaugural flight. The U.S. National Guard and potential export clients' needs were taken into account when this aircraft was specifically constructed. The cost of purchasing and operating this light attack aircraft is low. Compared to minor foreign forces, it is more affordable. Many nations need tactical aircraft but cannot afford expensive models. The Scorpion bridges the gap between affordable jet land assault aircraft and light turboprop aircraft. Deliveries can start 15 to 18 months after the production order is received. The Scorpion is capable of air patrol, training, domestic interdiction, light attack, and reconnaissance. This aircraft can only be used for missions in low-risk battlefields. However, in terms of range, endurance, and sensors, it performs better than turboprop aircraft. The aircraft is said to be hardy enough to absorb little damage. The Scorpion uses a lot of business jet off-the-shelf components, largely from the Cessna inventory, unlike other ground attack aircraft. The Scorpion demonstrator is propelled by Honeywell TFE 731 turbofans that are readily accessible in the marketplace. The majority of commercial business jets use these engines. Additionally, these cost a great deal less than specially made military engines and require far less maintenance. Although the Scorpion's engines may change in later iterations. Pilots said the Scorpion was quick, maneuverable, and strong even when flown on one engine during test flights. To keep expenses low and the design simple, the aircraft doesn't have fly-by-wire. The Scorpion's flight hours, according to its creators, only cost $3,000 per hour. No Western-made turbojet attack aircraft that is specifically designed for combat can even come close to this number. For instance, the F-16's flight hours are $25,000 each. Electro-optical and infrared sensors are mounted on the aircraft's retractable nose. When not in use, it retracts into the nose to reduce drag. There is a weapon bay within the airplane. This compartment can be adapted to contain sensors for a reconnaissance mission. It can also be used to transport additional fuel. Additionally, the interior bay can be set up to carry a mixture of weaponry, sensors, and fuel depending on the needs of the operation. Six external hardpoints for different weaponry, including gun pods, missiles, rockets, and explosives, are also included. This aircraft is capable of transporting laser or GPS-guided precision-guided weapons. The internal payload capacity of this aircraft is 1,360 kilograms. Externally, 1,400 kilograms more of ammunition can be transported. The Scorpion is a two-seat aircraft. However, it can be flown by a single pilot. Costs for the Scorpion unit are anticipated to be under $20 million. It isn't much more than an A-10 or F-16 upgrade. 